So in <clears throat> so in, in for many rigid bodies, we can draw them just using two dimensions. Um, so we can take our two equilibrium equations that the resultant force at a, has to be equal to zero on a rigid body and the resultant moment at any point has to be equal to zero. So in two new cases, we can write these these two equilibrium equations, these two vector equations, we can write using the following th uh, three scalar equations that the sum of the forces along the x-axis has to be equal to zero, the sum of all the forces along the y-axis has to be equal to zero, and the sum of the moments about a point have to be equal to zero, the moments about the z-axis have to be equal to zero. Um, so, <coughs> alternative, so we can re, <coughs> we can simplify any system of forces um, like sh shown and, and couple, uh, system of forces like shown in the top left of the screen. You can redraw it as a single um, resultant force and a single couple moment at a point. So we can see this is the resultant couple moment at point A. All right. Define our x, y axis like these. All right. And we have uh, three points A, B, and C. So we can. So instead of using the, I guess this is I can the sum of the forces in the x equal to zero, sum of the forces in y is equal to zero, and the sum of the moments about a point has to be equal to zero. We could also use alternate sets of equilibrium equations. Um, so you could s use the following three equilibrium equations. You could say that the sum of the forces in the x has to be equal to zero, the sum of the moments about point A has to be equal to zero, and the sum of the moments about point B had to be zero. All right? So this is only, for these sets of equations, this is only fair, or you can only use this, only use these only use these when um, uh, points A and point B are not parallel with the y-axis. Okay? If they were both parallel with the y-axis, the force um, uh, the force at point A, uh, so we'll show you what that would look like here. Um, Um, the force at point A would have to be, for the sum of the forces in the X have to be equal to zero. The forces at point A would have to be along the vertical direction. All right. Um, so if A and C were both parallel with the Y axis, um, there would never be a moment generated about the Y axis. So uh, it would be uh, uh, it would be useless. So um, so in that case, what you what you can do is that you can take the moment about any three points um, and also use those as your equilibrium equation and this, these three equilibrium equations are only applicable when uh, A, B, and C are non-collinear or they don't sit on the same line. Okay. So you can use any of these sets of equilibrium equations and a free body diagram uh, to solve a 2D problem uh, uh, for, any, for any of the unknown forces at its supports or any of the apl unknown applied forces.